What's up guys? Today I thought I'd do a video on my Yugoslavian M48. By far one of the most beautiful bolt actions I owned. Now the reason I got this rifle was it so closely resembles the German K98. I love those rifles. But there are some differences. For example, the bolt is an intermediate bolt. Actually, if you take, for example, my Turkish Mauser and put the bolt into the receiver, it will go in, but it won't lock because the bolt is just a little bit too long. Also, uh, they took the bolt disassembly tool off this gun. It, usually it'd be located right here on the buttstock. That is probably one of the only criticisms I have with this rifle. It was so handy having that on my Turkish Mauser when I was taking this bolt apart. I would have uh, I would have preferred if it was on this rifle. Not only do I think cosmetically it makes the rifle look nicer, but it is really handy to have that thing. So I was really glad to have that on my Turkish Mauser. Um, especially since this bolt was just caked in Cosmoline when I got it. Uh, but I'll get back to that. So this is my Turkish Mauser. You can tell it's not as nice as my Yugoslavian M48, but you can see it's got that bolt disassembly tool back here. So um, the bolt handle is also different than a K98. It's cut and uh, flattened on the bottom right here, which makes sense to me. It's really easy to get underneath it, but I prefer aesthetically the notch taken out of the stock that the K98 has, but that's just a personal thing for me. And also, right up here, there would have been less wood on the K98. Um, I think it would go to right about here, and it didn't stick up as far. Whereas this goes all the way back, which I think looks really nice. bolt is a little bit shorter. It's an intermediate bolt. And if you put like, uh, for example, my Turkish Mauser bolt in, it'll fit in, but it will not close because the bolt's too long. So Turkish Mauser bolt goes in, but you can't close it. As you can see, it moves just fine in the receiver, but you can't push it just that little bit so it would lock in. So I wouldn't say this is the smoothest action I've ever felt, especially with a Mauser. Uh, I would say my Turkish Mauser would be the smoothest, but it is a pretty smooth action. And it's got a standard uh, Mauser trigger, and the safety is exactly the same. All the way over locks the bolt and the trigger sticking up. The bolt can still move, but the trigger will not fire it. All the way to the left means it'll fire. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. The sights are just like any other Mauser. I will say the butt pad on this rifle is pretty thick. <laughs> you can 
do a lot of damage uh, with that. It's pretty solid, and it feels fantastic on your shoulder, I should say. Alright, so this Mauser is a Mitchell's Mauser, which, if you're a Mauser guy, you're probably already irritated. Um, I've read some articles saying that they had some credibility issues. I'm not going to go into that, but um, it, this was a really good deal, and it came with a lot of stuff, so I didn't mind it being a Mitchell's Mauser. It came with this sling, came with one of these pouches for the clips. And it came with this for the um, cleaning kit, apparently. It came with a whole bunch of stuff, so a whole bunch of tools to take it apart. Cleaning tools. Even pouches like this. Like this. So it came with a lot of stuff. <laughs> So if you could tell from the footage, I haven't shot this thing in a really long time. Actually, I lost all the footage of the targets I was shooting. I don't exactly know what happened to it. I think I took a picture of it with my phone and then I kind of forgot what the pictures were to, so I probably deleted it at some point. Uh, <laughs> and I was planning on taking this thing out to the range again, but I'm getting another 8mm rifle, which if you follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about, and it's definitely, definitely going to take all the 8mm away from this rifle because it's such a cool gun. But uh, I thought this thing deserved a video at very least. It is a gorgeous rifle. I absolutely love this rifle. It just looks so cool. Man, I put a lot of oil in it because I felt a little of the oil hit me in the face. <laughs> uh, after the last time I shot it, I was really thorough when I was cleaning it. Another uh, negative I would say is there's a serial number right here on the, the uh, bolt handle. I think it looks a little tacky. Um, personal preference. The crest on the receiver, I think it looks really nice. It's just a really nice looking rifle.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a awesome gun in my collection. It's one I'm definitely not letting go. It's an absolutely beautiful Mauser. Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up, especially that rifle that's chambered in 8mm. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm.